Hey, sixth grade band members. I hope you guys are doing well. This is Mrs. Demore with your band lesson for the week of April 7th. A little different, but I am glad that we're still able to connect over YouTube and Seesaw. I'm really missing you guys, but I'm glad that we're able to see each other this way. So I am going to be playing Mr. Demore's baritone this week, going through our lesson. He's letting me borrow that. Um, but before we start, I want to remind low brass and horn and trumpet players to please go and warm up before our lesson with the warm-up video that I linked onto Seesaw for you guys, okay? So go ahead and warm up your lips, um, get them all ready for our lesson, and then we will be ready to begin. So before we start, make sure you've got your music stand in front of you. We really want that stand there so that your eyes are going to be reading the music at level, at eye level. Um, and you can be sitting with good posture with that. So make sure you've got your stand there. And then your two materials that you're going to need for today. Your warm-ups and beyond book, right? Your war white warm-ups and beyond book. We're going to be going over our chromatic scale in there. And then your packet that looks like this up at the top and starts with 3.10 tray pop. Okay, so if you do not have that packet anymore, please just email me. I have them all as PDF files so I can resend you a new one. Okay, so we are going to start with our warm ups and beyond book. Flip to page 18. We are going to talk about that chromatic scale that we left off on before, um, before we got out of school. So on page 18, it's going to be your concert B flat scale, concert B flat major. Number seven is where you have your chromatic scale. And a reminder from when we were talking about this, the chromatic scale is just playing every single note on your fingering chart. So starting on um, whichever note you are starting on with that scale. So for baritone, I'm going to start on B flat, low B flat. Let me find that really quickly. And then I am going to play every single note on this fingering chart until I get to the high B flat and then back down again. Okay, so that's how our chromatic scale is going to work. Your chromatic scale is your seesaw assignment for this week. Let's play it together. So we are again on page 18. Flip back to that. And we are doing number 7 on page 18. Here we go. 1, 2, ready, go. <laughs> Go ahead and pull. 
pull out that packet. And we're going to start with a little bit of review. So open up to 4.8, which is that Tafta Hindi. Uh, that was your Seesaw assignment during our first week of e-learning. All right, so this Tafta Hindi has some of those eighth note with two sixteenth note patterns. Okay, check out our third measure. We've got one and a two. We've got that one and a two because we start with an eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes. And then that rhythm occurs in most of the measures after. One and two e and one and two e and one and two e and. So throughout this song, we either have our one and a, which let me just show you this as well. We either have our one and a, sorry guys, one and a two, or the opposite of that pattern, two sixteenth notes followed by an eight. One and two e and, right? So we've got those all over this song. And let's go ahead and play this one together. Remember, we're starting pretty high, so especially brass players, nice deep breaths so you can get up to that higher partial. Play along with me. One. And two, and ready, go. <laughs> this rhythm. So four sixteenth notes, plain, plainly written, those are going to be counted 
one E and up. Okay, to get our dotted eighth note, we're gonna combine the first three sixteenth notes. One E and a uh are all gonna become that dotted eighth note. One up. Uh. Okay, one up. Uh. In my head, when I'm doing those dotted eighth notes, I'm still thinking one and a, uh, okay, to make sure that I'm counting that correctly. If we look at this very first measure here, we start off with a dotted eighth note, sixteenth, and then just some regular eighth note and quarter note patterns. This is going to be counted one, a two, and three, and four. All right, count that with me. Ready? Here we go. One, a two, and three, and four. Again, here we go. One, a two, and three, and four. And take a look at that third measure. We're just changing where that dotted eighth note is happening. Okay, so we're still starting with a number for that dotted eighth note, and then the uh, that, that fourth sixteenth note is our uh. Okay? Let's count and clap through this whole line. Ready? Here we go. One, a two, and three, and four. One, a two, and three, and four. One, and two, a three, and four. One, and two, a three, and four. All right, so... Keeping that in mind, we are going to start working on dotted eighth notes this week in our music as well. This is not your assignment, but I want you to play this song along with me and please practice it this week because it will be an assignment um, in future weeks. So pull out, flip to it, 4.26, which is named the Bridal Chorus from Lohengrin. Okay, you're going to recognize this song. But throughout this song, we have tons of dotted eighth notes in here. Okay, we've got one in the first measure, second, third, fourth. We've got a first and second ending. Okay, so, and then that second ending is going to have them as well. So 4.26, we are going to count and clap through this first. I'm going to put this up here for you. You can follow along in your music or mine on the screen. So with our first measure, let's count and clap through this. Ready, here we go. One, two, a three. One, two, a three. One, two, a three, four, a one, two, a three. Back to the beginning. One, two, a three. One, two, a three. going on as well. Okay, it's, it's only six measures, but we've got some different dynamics, starting on mezzo piano, crescendoing up to mezzo forte, day crescendoing back down, and then again going back to mezzo forte in that second ending. I want you to check your key signature. Okay, so make sure you're being aware of the flats and sharps that you have in there. And then we've got our first and second endings. Right. I'm going to play through one time, and I would like you to count and clap along with me. Okay, so count and clap while I play this one. One, two, ready, here I go. <laughs> Okay, 
So watch out for your key signature notes, especially in that third measure. And then your first and second endings. We're going to go that same tempo, pretty slow. Here we go. One, two, ready, here we go. Have a great day. 